Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing? It is Sunday the 27th of October. It is another daily vlog, so welcome along for my Manjaro weight loss journey. If you're new, hiya, my name is Marcia. I'm 53 years old, I live in North Yorkshire in the UK. I'm on week 23 and my current dose is 10 mil... No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's 10 milligrams of Manjaro. Um, I literally just moved up this week to 10 and so far it's going absolutely fine. I've had no unusual side effects or anything and to be honest I've not noticed that much difference from moving up from 7.5. Um, if you are returning welcome back. I'm um, really sorry that I didn't have a Saturday vlog for you all but we've gone over to my grandson's fifth birthday party so it was just a day of fun and spending time with the family and everything and so yeah i took the day off from vlogging i will at the end of today and um, when we're doing the breakdown of today's food and going through the nutri check app i'll run through my um food tracker for yesterday anyway and we'll just have a bit of a chat about what i'd had but it wasn't um it wasn't a typical day of eating or anything but i still did track all of my calories as best as i could so yeah we'll chat about that later but oh, i had the best time yesterday and it was actually lovely just to spend the day being present and not sort of um, chatting. There wasn't really many opportunities where I could vlog anyway. And I had an early night. Um, Glenn was watching the Grand Prix qualifying. So I just went up to bed and um, I thought I'll watch, watch a bit of YouTube and I fell asleep in bed and I've had the best sleep. I probably had about a good 10 hours sleep. So I feel really, really good. I feel really wide awake. I had a terrible sleep. Um, Friday night into Saturday and literally I was still up at sort of like gone 4 a.m. and we were up early because we had to travel over to for my grandson's party so yeah I think I probably had about a couple of hours sleep Friday into Saturday so it was a much needed refresh last night so yeah I'm feeling brilliant. Now we've decided we're going to go down and visit my sister and her family today so we're literally about to head off but before I go I am um, I'm going to just have a little bowl of porridge. It's just the, oh, it's so simple. It's the Sultana raisins, cranberry and apples. Um, don't forget when you're tracking this, you need to track your milk as well separately. If you're doing the barcode scanner, because it just scans the actual oats themselves. But yeah, I will show you once it's made up. And I've got a cup of tea and then we're going to scoot off. My sister knows that I'm on Manjaro, so that makes that easy for when we're then having some, some food and things and lunch. So yeah, but I'll share everything that I'm having so you can come along with us. Also meant to say, this is one of the jumpers that I bought. This is the one that I showed the picture of in me in the changing room. So this was my size small, which I was very excited about. It is from Matalan. I shared it the other day in my, um, and I was just showing you what I'd picked up. But yes, it's um, lovely. So um, really soft, nice thin knit, very, very comfortable. And there we got a lovely creamy bowl of porridge, um, nice and warming on an autumn's day. Right then, have this and then we'll scoot off. So I've just got a chicken burger, some breaded chicken, ketchup, and literally that is it. Cannot be bothered. Right, I was just about to make a cup of tea, but I thought, well, I'm a wee bit low. On my protein let's try and get my good habits back and i still have some calories so i am going to have this protein shake it's a chocolate one from aldi it's 180 calories and um, 20 grams of protein so i've just got it in here with some ice cubes glass straw it has been ages i used to have one of these several nights a week so yeah these are just only 79 pence from aldi so yeah if you're struggling to eat or you're just a bit low on your cal um, on your proteins and things or you've got a bit of calories left over just maybe and you don't fancy something to eat grab one of these guys um yes yeah, so i'm gonna have that i'll make a cup of tea a bit later so yeah there we go it seems so long since we chatted um so i know my vlogs have been <laughs> i haven't really vlogged today i am so sorry but it has been a weekend of family time. And so for that, I am really thankful. It's just like, it's so special, isn't it? Spending time with your loved ones. So yeah, I've had such a lovely day today. So we're gonna run through everything I've eaten and um, we'll have a proper catch up tomorrow, back to regular vlogging. But um, I'm gonna yawn. 
Oh, so I've just brought through that um, protein shake. So I'll just start sipping my way through that as we go. So yeah, I went to see my sister today and her husband and like my niece and nephew. So um, they live in Newark. So it's about an hour and a quarter's drive um, to get to them. So yeah, it was um, really nice. We had a lovely time. Um, so yeah, so I had my porridge before I went. Well, we'll talk through my food anyway, but yeah, we had a nice time. Didn't vlog anything I was there. I meant to at least get like a little bit of motorway footage. <laughs> <laughs> forgot and then we got back and it was dark by the time we got back just with the clocks changing so yeah it's just been really really nice and then tonight we've literally just watched a bit of telly um watched big brother i've done some crochet i'll show you tomorrow i've had a couple of orders so i'm just catching up with them and yeah it's just been really nice so i'm feeling very relaxed very chilled monday tomorrow glenn's been off work so much um he's only worked like monday and tuesday last week which was really really nice he's had all week off he was meant to be off tomorrow but they've rang and asked if he could go in tomorrow and he does he used to always like work monday tuesday friday he's on the bank because that way it just gives us flexibility so if he needs like some time like time off for holidays we can have as much time off as he needs and if he wants to do extra shifts he can do it but he's just more in control of when and when he works and how often so yeah, it's just really nice but anyway he's working quite a bit this next week um so let me do a screen recording and we'll start um going through it like this bit like with kind of like trialing so yeah if you haven't seen my other vlog i am going to be yeah i'm just going to start sharing like chatting with you in real time as i look at the news check app and we can go through it together so let's get down here so breakfast today as you saw was my porridge my also simple porridge and my semi skim milk so yeah 226 calories 9.5 grams of protein oh i'm so sorry um so yeah just remember you have to Add in your milk. If you use a little sachet and it goes up to the line and you feel like the sachet with your milk, it's 180 mils of milk you need to measure out with whatever sort of milk you use. So that's what we did there. And then went to my sister's for obviously the day and she made some homemade soup and she did actually create a, a recipe for it. She sent me a screenshot of it. Actually, I'll pop that in here. But what I did, I just searched on um, the app for leaky potato homemade soup and then I just adjusted the portion size of that until it met with her calories that she sent me through for the portion that I had. So that was quite handy. And then that was really filling actually. It was really nice. And I just had like a ham and tomato sandwich, but I only ate half of it. It's like one slice of bread equivalent because I was so stuffed. And obviously I'd had my porridge just before I left. So yeah, I had quite a late breakfast with my porridge, but then she made lunch pretty swiftly from us getting there. So it was like quite an early lunch for me. So I wasn't very hungry at all. So yeah, I just had ham and tomato sandwich and a bowl of soup. And then we got back and we had like, we were going to be making like sausage and mash for dinner or maybe spag ball. And, and Glenn says, oh, can you even be bothered? Went, I'm not that hungry. And I was like, no, that's fine then. So we had some um, southern fried chicken fillets, which were frozen, brioche buns. So I just cooked them. And then we also had some like the chicken mini fillet chicken mini fillets in the fridge so i cooked those as well we didn't have any chips or anything so literally it was just like old chicken and stuff but look at that 562 calories but 35.6 grams of protein so i thought that was really good um i only ate one of the mini fillets i had like two mini fillets but i gave glenn one because i was just really really full I meant to say for your lunch it was only 282 calories about 11.3 grams of protein um on the drive home we went to a Starbucks drive through and we just had a hot chocolate on the way back, which was quite nice. I mean, so the Starbucks hot chocolate was made with semi-skim milk and um, that's 258 calories, 13.5 grams of protein, which is pretty nice. And then obviously I've just got my um, protein shake just now, which is 180 calories and 20 grams of protein. So... Today, I've hit 1,508 calories, so right on my 1,500 target again. How good is that? 
and sort of hit about 90 grams of protein, which is really good. So if we have a little look here at today, so I'm over on my carbs, but that would obviously be, I've had like porridge, I've had the potatoes in the soup, I've had the sandwich, I've had um, my hot chocolate, so you've got like the chocolate syrup in that, because obviously sugars are carbs, um, although the sugars are separate, sugars aren't carbs. <laughs> Oh, what am I talking about? But anyway, um, and then I had my brioche bun. So a lot of carbs, God, 174 grams of carbs. <gasps> a lot of sugar. And again, hot chocolate has really taken that sugar up. Um, but never mind. Protein, yeah, as I mentioned, is not too bad. Let's have a look at my rolling weekly average. So I'm averaging about 1,400 calories a day. That's so good. Um, just slightly over with my carbs. And then my protein, 72.4 grams. That's over a gram per kilo. So that's good. Let's just click it over to <laughs> the breakdown of fat carbs, protein. So 47% of my calories today have come from carbs, 24% from protein, 29% from fat. And uh, looking at the weekly average, not that much different. Oh, do you know? It's like, yeah, 49% of my week's <laughs> car. Um, could you hear that motorbike outside? That's really loud. And um, 49% of my calories this week have come from carbs, which is like really bad. Um, so we shall work. Well, it's not so much bad, but my protein, my percentage of protein is down. And then let's just have a look at my running weekly total so far. So you can see here, so for week commencing, 20 seconds are from Tuesday. Um, I've, log oh, I've got logged my food from yesterday as well. Um, obviously, I didn't vlog yesterday, but yesterday's calories were 1,461. So I think I did pretty well there as well. So it's only Thursday when I had that really low day. Um, but everything else, I'm pretty much bang on my 1500 calories so i feel like i've i've really sussed it and when you think this week i've increased up to 10,000 calories hang on let me just stop screen recording here stop okay um if you think this week i have increased up to 10 milligrams um i haven't really noticed a great deal of difference so whether we'll get like a cumulative effect um, as we go over the next couple of weeks, maybe. So obviously it's injection day tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have got the sausages out of the freezer. They're in the fridge. So we'll have sausage and mash tomorrow um, just to get them used up. And yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, hecky thump. So yeah, that's going to be it today. Just a really short vlog. Um, but it should be it back to normal activity tomorrow. Um, I hope you've all had a really nice weekend because I've missed yesterday's vlog. So obviously when I'm uploading, I've still got my monthly vlog to do. So there'll still be um, a video up um, each day because the day that's missing, you know, I will upload the, um, I'll get my, can't speak i'll get my month five update filmed and that'll just fill the gap from the vlog that should have been in on that day and then um, normal services as i say will be resuming but yeah i've just taken the pressure off and it's really nice i've just thought well, it's fine i haven't really vlogged that much this weekend but it doesn't really matter it's absolutely fine <laughs> i've tracked my calories which is the main thing yes i've still tracked even though i didn't vlog yesterday so everything's still gone in my nutri check and it's just so easy it just goes with you wherever you go and you can always sort of find you know something that fits whatever you've eaten you can either scan it Ooh. scan it search it or create it so it's absolutely fabulous so i'm gonna go tomorrow i'll show you my crochet i've got some special velvet yarn coming tomorrow because I've got some gorgeous gorgeous hats I want to make particularly for babies and young toddlers I think they're going to do really well I guess they're like velvet yarn and they just look so well they look like they should be really lovely so I'm excited for that um but yeah take care guys thank you so much for watching um I hope you're all well and I love you and blah -de blah <laughs> Oh, what am I talking about? I am tired today. Um, 
I've had a great weekend, guys. Just what the doctor ordered. It's been so lovely. But yeah, thank you. Take care. I'll see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.